Hi, and welcome to this introduction to the program, Rethinking Reputation Risk from Values to Value. Joining me is Elliot Schreiber. He'll be presenting the program. We've developed it together based on the book uh, that he wrote and published in the end of 2021, The Yin and Yang of Reputation Management. Okay, so welcome, Elliot. Um, could you give us a quick overview of the program? Sure. Uh, so the course is called Rethinking Reputation Risk from Values to Value. So if you ask most companies to describe their reputation risk program, they'll, they'll tell you it's about crisis management. And that's sort of like asking people how they're going to avoid a fire and they tell you they're going to call the fire department. They don't have any plan. And we don't manage reputation risk. We manage the risk against the opportunities we have. And as my book says in Yin and Yang, these are both interrelated. So we're gonna be talking about what reputation risk really is. The second part is from values to value. And there are some people who say, well, shouldn't it be from value to values? Because when we talk about value, it's about profits and don't we want values? We intentionally said from values to value for two reasons. One is that I firmly believe that employees, customers, investors, and others are starting to move toward or away from companies and products that either share their values or do not share their values. The second part is that I believe strongly in values-led leadership and that when you have strong values and when they connect with stakeholders, you create more value. Companies continue to think they're after profits. What they really should be after is creating value for their different stakeholders. Who's going to benefit from joining the program? Well, I think that if you look at the book, we had three uh, forwards written by three outstanding people from the world of governance, uh, National Association of Corporate Directors, CEO, uh, risk management, and marketing communications. But it's, I think it's anyone who is interested in the field of governance, how to improve governance within a company, how to improve the information flow the boards have to make a company more strategic, how CEOs can understand better where their reputation is built and where risk is created. Um, so it's really about anyone who is interested in value creation uh, for the company. And that spans an awful lot of different executives. But I think especially governance, risk, and marketing communications people will be the most attracted and most interested in this. Could you tell us a little bit about yourself, uh, why you decided to put the program together, and what's going to be most valuable about it? My background is a fairly unusual one, but specific to the value of this course. Uh, I spent my entire career in as a corporate executive, running marketing communications, running strategic management in different companies around the world. I've also consulted to a number of companies. I've been on the boards of both public and nonprofit companies, and I've been an academic. And so I come at this from a broad base of looking at what works and what doesn't work. And I think from the background that I've brought, it's kind of a bringing the legacy of what I've learned and trying to help companies improve on what they're doing currently. So let's get into a bit of the detail about the program itself. Um, could you give us a, a, an overview of, of what the modules of the program are going to cover? Sure. Well, they're going to follow along the eight principles that I lay out in my book, eight strategic principle for stakeholder value creation and risk management. And it begins, we're going to begin the course with a look at why we need to rethink reputation. And we're going to start off with someone I'm delighted to have, Judy Samuelson. Her book, Six New Rules of Business, lays out rule number one, that it's all about reputation and trust. And so we're gonna find out from her standpoint from the Aspen Institute, where did she see this and why does it blend with, with mine? We're gonna go into the culture and values of a company because that's where you build reputation or create the risk uh, to your reputation. Understand how brand 
influences reputation and the inter intersection between those really look at reputation risk and also how do you implement this within a company uh, and talking about uh, why we need a new organizational structure and how boards can become better informed to help the CEO and the company build more reputational value and avoid some of the reputational risk that we've seen in recent years from banks and other companies. What do you hope that the people who take part in the program are going to get from the program? What I hope everyone will get is a rethinking of what they're doing. We all can rethink what we're doing. But if you're someone who is either trying to convince an executive that reputation and reputation risk are more than PR and marketing, if you're a board member and really uh, can't understand how or want to understand how you can make your company more valuable, build its reputation and avoid some of the risks that other companies have, have taken. And how you, as if you're in a risk area, whether you're internal audit or uh, enterprise risk management, how you can get involved with the people in reputation risk to identify more risks than you're applying now and we can avoid some of the failures that we've seen from audit and other activities. And so I think it's gonna help people hopefully manage and govern their companies much more effectively. Well, I think it's certainly gonna be valuable. We know that it's regularly rated as one of the top 10 risk factors when boards are surveyed about risk. Um, and it's an increasingly big problem in the increasingly politicized world that we live today. So I absolutely. think it's going to be absolutely essential uh, that people on boards and executives get smarter about their approach to reputation risk management. Your, the, well, the program comes with a copy of your book, uh, but importantly, every week there is going to be guests who understand this from their realities. We're going to be discussing the ideas in the book in dialogue with you. Um, and the program starts, as you see, on September the 14th. The application process is already open. Uh, so take a look and get your application in early. Okay, thank you. Thank you.